Acid can be awesome. Because you know that testing of your faith produces perseverance. James chapter 1 verse 3. As I proceeded to handle the rice water mixture, its pungent acidic odor slapped me. I could not believe how much that fermented water stank. It had been soaking for a few days, and I now doubted the advice of the hair care video. How could something so acidic be good for my hair? A Google search confirmed that though rice water was acidic, it was very beneficial to hair. It was reputed to restore pH balance and repair, rejuvenate, and promote hair growth. A colleague in science explained to me that some acids are actually healthful. Hydrochloric acid is resident in our stomachs. It helps with digestion through the breakdown of food. Vitamin C, ascorbic acid, is good for skin, gums, and our immune system. Even vinegar had its uses of preservation. My colleague's explanation led me to think that even unpleasant circumstances, like some acids, have their place and functions in our lives. Quite like my rice water experience, we may encounter situations that stink. We question their usefulness to our Christian experience. Lord, what good could possibly come out of this? The widow of 2 Kings chapter 4 was about to lose her home and two sons, but it was this acidic calamity that built her faith and trust in God. She and her sons were able to remain there. The effects of sin, rebellion, and loss can help us become more spiritually disciplined. Death can elicit creativity and faith that we did not know we had. Betrayal can sharpen our focus on God and His faithfulness. Personal mistakes help us to be humble and gracious when dealing with others. The rice water did work. My hair looked awesome. Eventually, though not immediately, I saw evidence of growth and shame. Similarly, there is much that we might learn from this trial if we pay attention. They are sent to transform and not to destroy. David in Psalms chapter 119 noted that his affliction caused him to learn God's loss. The Father knows just the right amount of acid to apply. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 also assures us that God will not allow tests we cannot bear. If you are going through what seems like an acidic trial, just keep trusting. Be encouraged that God can use that which is apparently unpleasant to restore, repair, rejuvenate, grow, and preserve. His plans for us are awesome. Judelia Medad Sanchez Teban. I would love to hear from you. Comment down below your thoughts about this devotion.